We just got our first peek into episode 2. The creator of the amazing digital circus Gooseworks, as well as Glitch Productions, have been dropping some crazy leaks and teasers for episode 2 over the past couple of days. So get ready because we're not skipping a single leak in this video. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be going over this secret leak of all of the characters in the New Kingdom. And this might just tell us what's going to happen in episode 2. But first, let's go over the teasers that Gooseworks posted on Twitter in the order of which they were posted. The first image was posted on February 23rd, and this is a picture of the gummy crocodile we see in the trailer with no clothes except for his trusty hat. Nice. This is captioned by Gooseworks saying, quote unquote, my boy, written above it. Gooseworks seems to take a particular liking to this character, but we don't know much about them. My theory is that while they are in the Candy Canyon Kingdom, the cast of the Amazing Digital Circus will become outlaws of some sort and team up with this gummy guy. The next week on our Twitter, and well, I mean, it's not necessarily a leak, I think it's quite funny. This image, uploaded on the 5th of March, was early storyboard art of this scene. As you can see, they plan to use this exact crusty looking plush since the beginning of this trailer which I think is really funny, and I don't blame them at all for bullying this particular plush. Another interesting post from March 6th shows Jackson a maid costume. Someone got a kick out of that, I presume. Anyways, let's just ignore that. This next image we got on March 6th appears to be a smeared image of Kinger, or maybe he's just moving really quickly? Either way, this image is blurry and all we can really catch is a pink background. Something to note is that the circus doesn't really have any pink walls, besides in the hallway with the bedrooms. So I guess it's a possibility that Kinger is running down the hall, but I also think it's quite likely that Kinger is trying to escape from something in none other than the Candy Canyon Kingdom. And I feel like this could be an image of Kinger spazzing out in this new kingdom, because we all know Kinger would do that, but who knows? The next image, posted on March 7th, has the most substance in my opinion, and there is quite a bit to be observed. Firstly, to state the obvious, Ragatha is upset and pulling her hair about something, most likely because of Jax. And I mean, look at his grin, of course whatever Ragatha's mad about is his fault. Anyways, then behind Ragatha, and Jax, we see Kinger innocently staring at Ragtha curiously. Now, if we take the background and the various elements of this image besides the characters, there is quite a bit that we can look at. Firstly, if you look directly behind Jax, it seems that there is something similar to a vehicle or some sort of suspended platform made out of candy cane or mint right there. And I'm honestly not entirely sure what I'm even looking at. So if you have any clues, please let me know down in the comments what you think it is. Anyway, if we take the background, like what's behind Ragatha, we can see that the floor has sprinkles in it and seems to be made out of a substance like cake or something made out of bread. Finally, behind them, there seems to be some sort of pink pillars made out of candy, which I can't quite make out. Anyways, it's obvious enough that Kinger, Ragatha, and Jax are all in the Candy Canyon Kingdom together doing something, and Jax annoys or bullies Ragatha, causing her to pull on her hair. Something I noticed here is that Pomni, Kane, Gangle, and Zubal are nowhere to be found in this image, which I find quite interesting. Maybe it's possible that they aren't in this specific shot and they are off camera. I think it's also quite likely that the circus circus has been split into two groups just like the pilot episode. When Palmney, Ragatha, and Jax go off to meet Kofmo, when Kinger and Gingle go off to save Zubal from the Gloink Queen. Why they may split up? I don't know, but it's fun to speculate. Next, on March 8th, we get a post featuring the Gloink Queen with the caption, quote unquote, you can't spell International Women's Day without R, W, O, and M. It's quite funny, yeah, but I really wanted to draw attention to the image attached. Well, you may think it's just a normal image of the Gloink Queen captured from the pilot, something about it seemed a little bit off. I rewatched every scene with the Gloink Queen from episode 1, and as far as I could tell, this image was nowhere in the episode. Of course, if I am correct about this, then the pilot is not the last time we will see the Gloink Queen, which I am sure somebody's excited about. Drop a like if you're a Gloink Queen fan. Hey, that's all the new images we have from Gooseworks, but don't click off just yet because we got a ton of new leaks from Glitch Productions' Twitter page. You wanna watch this whole video. On March 7th, Glitch Productions dropped a video with no caption. Transformation Central, Reformation Central, Transmogrification Central, can you feel it? You're changing, you're changing, you're changing all right. I hope you're satisfied. But if you ain't, don't blame me. You can blame my friends on the other side. 
As you've just seen, there seem to be broken animations featuring Kane and some other characters that have been mistakenly but comedically distorted or messed up in the animation process. But something I find interesting about this is that some of this actually shows us new scenes we didn't know about, and I'm gonna be going over some of these images from the slideshow. The first image shows Kane with a ginormous finger pointing at someone. Behind him looks to me to be some sort of mirror with a kickstand, but because it's completely untextured, it's impossible to know for sure. Anyways, I think that this occurs in one of the characters' rooms. At first, I thought it could be a shot from the new trailer, but none of it shows Kane pointing towards a mirror, so I think that it's new content. The second image is a giant close-up of Kane's face and eyes. In the background, there seems to be some sort of brick wall with some sort of old-timey castle, and some sort of structure behind him to the right. To me, this structure somewhat resembles a chess piece, which makes me think of Kinger. Perhaps there will be a Kinger-centered episode which will involve a real-life game of chess. The fourth image shows Kane being completely stretched on stage. The camera is showing a side view which I am pretty sure is new. Something to notice is that over to the left there seems to be two words written in Comic Sans. The first word I can make out, it says carrier, but the second word is angled so weird that I can't even make out what it says. The eighth image shows Kane and Palmney both asserting their dominance in a T-pose in the void. It's not too common for 3D models to be in a default position of a T-pose since it's the easiest to manipulate, but I'm not sure why Palmney and Kane are so close to each other. In the tenth image, we see Kane with huge eyeballs which clip into his teeth. That looks quite painful. Anyways, our attention is again to the background as Kane seems to be in a very fancy room with greenery in the windows. This reminds me of the restaurant that Kane and Bubble eat at in the first episode, but it seems that Kane is seated somewhere else in the restaurant, so I'm pretty sure this is actually from a different episode. In the eleventh image, we see Kane looking goofy, with his jaw clipping together in a manner that looks quite excruciating to say the least. And in the background of this, there is some sort of nature or something. I personally don't think that the background here has much significance because it's too hyper-realistic to be a background for the show, and to me it just seems to be something that they downloaded off the internet and threw into the skybox. The 14th image shows Kane and Palmney both in the circus, both untextured, and Palmney's head is replaced with a giant ball, which I am pretty sure this shot actually does appear in the first episode at 4 minutes and 30 seconds, but I thought it was funny nonetheless. Image 16 shows Kane, again, pointing with big eyes. In the background it kind of looks like books or something, which I theorize might be a part of the haunted mansion that I think the cast will visit somehow meeting the two ghosts along the way. Image 20 shows us another bootleg Kane plush, in a different form from the one in the trailer, so perhaps they're just making the joke that this plush is actually as cursed as the rest of these images, or maybe this is just intended to be the one used originally, but instead they chose to use the exponentially uglier one. The final image I would like to show you is image 24. This shows Zubal with an elongated leg. The background also appears to be the same background that we see Kane in that looked like a castle, this time colored better. I think that the castle will be featured in one of the episodes as it may answer what this is all about. Personally, I think what is shown is some sort of medieval coliseum, which if I'm correct, it would take place nowhere else but near a giant castle. Anyways, that's all the leaks I got for today, and we just got our first peek into what episode 2 might look like. But if you guys are excited for episode 2, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because I make new theory videos every single week. But enough being said, if you want to see more theories, click on this video right here and have an amazing day.